Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my latest Primark video. After saying a while ago that I wasn't going to do a Primark video for ages, I've pretty much been doing one every month. Oh well, never mind. So this is the December Primark haul, so it's very much winter based. I've got lots of winter goods in here, got some really good finds. Now I got this stuff from a much bigger Primark than I normally go to, so they had some, they had some really cool bits. A couple of bits I'm a bit like unsure about. I haven't tried anything on yet, so we're going to be trying it all on together. And you'll see what I mean when I say I've got a couple of unusual bits. So yeah, I'm going to try on everything I've got for you and tell you how much it all was and show you what I got basically. What I've got on now is a Primark dress, a Primark smock dress. Um, it wasn't actually from this haul. I got this back in, I don't know, like a couple of months ago. So this wasn't from this specific haul, but um, it is from Primark. Okay, so let's have a look at the rail. Let's see what we got. We've got a coat, we've got a hoodie. I got a Christmas party outfit, because obviously it's December. They had loads of nice sort of going out party stuff. So I put together a little Christmas party outfit for us to try on together. I got some knitwear, a smock dress because, hello. And I got some hats, one of which I'm a bit like, yeah. So I think I'll start with, I think I'll start with the party outfit, you know. Let's get in the party spirit, it is December. So, oh I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh God, I do apologize, I've woken up with a bit of a sniffle. Probably thanks to my son. Sorry about that. So, we have got this bodysuit. Okay, disclaimer, I have not worn a bodysuit since probably giving birth to my son two and a half years ago. Feeling a little bit nervy about this. My body is not what it was. And also it's a bit like thin on the old you know what area. So yeah, I got this lace bodysuit. I got it in a size small. It is really beautifully detailed, really nice. And it was eight pounds, pretty good. So I got that. And to go with it, I got these, but these are unusual. These are silk cargo pants. So cargo pants are really in at the moment with the side pocket, but this is the first pair of silk cargo pants that I think I've ever seen. So I got these, I went for a size 10, just because I really didn't want them to be like tight and unflattering on the midriff area. So I went for a 10 and they were 15 pounds. So all in all, 23 pounds for a going out outfit. Let's try it on. I've got a bodysuit on. Sorry about me. And I quite like it, you know. I'm kind of thinking I could have got the eight um, because there is that stretchy waistline at the back. To be honest, I could have got an eight, but it's fine, they still fit. And if you were going for like a Christmas meal or something, that's going to be handy. So they are the cargo pants. I'll put the camera down so you can see them properly. So there you go. There's the cargo pants. They've got the pocket in the side. And they are silk. I mean, the first pair of silk cargo pants I've ever come across, but it's kind of working. You know what I mean? I might need a little belt because it's a little bit baggy. And then we've got the bodysuit. <laughs> so I think it fits nicely i got mine in a size small and i'm pretty happy with that you don't need any underwear which is good comfort levels are up here as a christmas party outfit goes i'm pretty happy with that i would just throw on a little jacket put on a pair of heels i actually have a girl's christmas meal coming up in when is it like two weeks so i think that's my outfit sorted next up Let's move on. So what I think I'll do is I'll try on the knitwear, just literally over what I've got on now. Why not? Primark, oh, just put that there. Primark is always a winner for knitwear with me. They just always do it right. They never fail. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. I actually already have this particular jumper in a gray. I know you're going to say, Ellie, that is great. It's actually not. It's more like an oatmeal. 
and my other one is grey. So I already knew I was onto a winner with this one because I already have one. It's the jumper of dreams, guys. Let me show it to you. So get your normal size because it is oversized anyway. So this is a small and it is big on me. They're 10 pounds, which you might think like, oh, that's a bit much for a Primark jumper. No, because it's just so dreamy. I wear mine all the time, just tucked into a pair of mum jeans with a nice coat. It's just the perfect easy outfit. I'm worried this is gonna mess up my my brows. I've had my brows laminated. Can you tell? And I'm loving it. Mm. Mm. Like giving birth. Did I mess up the brows? We're okay. I told you right, dreamy. And here it is. So it's got that lovely loose cowl neck. It's nice and big, so you don't feel restricted at all. I also love that the sleeves are long, like in the winter, I'm always doing this. Getting cozy. And I'll show you the bottom of it. It's so easy. Do you know what kind of goes with these cargo pants? Am I wrong? Don't they kind of go together? Like I thought these could only be really like a going out trouser, but that kind of works. So like I said, so easy to tuck into any pair of trousers and you've got yourself an easy outfit. So yeah, this is the, this is the king of Primark knitwear, for sure. Next up, I think I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna try the hoodie on next. I think that'll work. Primark is always a winner with hoodies as well and they've got every color under the sun pretty much in hoodies at the moment and I always upsize so I got a size medium. It's really similar to the sort of color knitwear I'm wearing at the moment, sort of an oatmeal, but just super easy to wear. So I'm just gonna throw this on, easy. Again, I would just tuck it into whatever trousers I was wearing and you've just got a quick and easy nursery run, school run, casual outfit. Oh hey. I never wear my hair straight, like, ever. Um, so it feels a bit weird. Also have no extensions in, also feels weird. So while I've got this delightful hoodie on, I'm going to try my coat. I'm sure you guys have been looking at the coat, eyeing it up this entire video. As soon as I saw it in the store, I was like, it's mine. And here it is. So it's no, no news. But I love things massive, I love things oversized, I don't know why, because I'm actually really, really small, I'm a very short person, so why I like things to look massive on me, I don't really know, but I do. And so, we have got this, which is pretty naturally oversized anyway, but I think I sized up, let me check. Oh, well it's a medium. Medium means 12 in Primark land. But I didn't get a small, I got a medium, because I thought I wanted it to look humongous. And here it is. Just notice I love the zip. It's got like a really chunky zip. And obviously we've got the two-tone, we've got the black and the white. We've got these nice chunky drawstrings on the hood and it's super thick. It is 25 pounds for a puffer coat. Here it is, guys. I mean, it certainly doesn't go with the uh, silk trousers, so just ignore that, but it does go with the hoodie. I'm feeling it. It's definitely big, but coats are not meant to be tight, in my opinion, they're meant to be huge. And this is definitely doing that. This would just be so easy to throw on. Again, if you had to pop out with the kids, chuck it on with a hoodie, you got yourself a little outfit. I know what Clint would say, he'd look like, say I look like a football manager. In all my big oversized coats, I always put the bodies like, you look like a football manager. I don't know, he says the name of one of them, but. Obviously, I can't remember who it is because I know nothing about football, but there you go. £25 for a humongous, comfortable coat. I do feel a bit like I'm in Top Boy or something with this on. <laughs> Anyone watch Top Boy? I do feel a bit like a bit of gangster in it. And I probably couldn't be any further from gangster in it if I tried. Okay, let's take this off because I'm sweltering. I feel like now might be a good, oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> I'm sneezing, I'm burping, sorry guys. I feel like now might be a good opportunity to try on the hats. So I got three in total. I'm gonna try my safe bets first. Oh, my safe bets were two beanies. Now I know I've got two colors that are basically the same, but they were just a little bit different in color so I couldn't pick and they were three pounds. 
so I was like shall I have both but also one is a lot smaller than the other can you see the size diff hi so I'm a bit worried that one's not going to get around my big head I have a million beanies could open my own beanie shop but I don't have any that are like super ribbed like this mine are all like a much thinner rib so I did want a thick rib beanie uh, but I haven't tried it on yet so let's see I'm not sure if the big rib will suit me or if I'm more of a small rib gal mm. see I'm not sure guys do I suit a big rib <laughs> I never thought I'd say that let me try the other one that's like loads skinnier oh my god this is so much so much smaller and it's got like a little noddy point at the top off why is that one so much smaller right that one's being returned this one is a much more realistic size i feel like that one must be from the children's section and i just didn't get the memo i don't know i feel like i need to play around with it a little bit more do i suit the big rib or do i need to stick with the skinny sorry there's a bird literally on my window and it's freaking me out a little bit because i keep seeing its shadow on my wall and in its shadow it looks about 10 foot tall so i keep kind of dashing my eyes over there um but i'm sure it's not 10 foot tall okay now on to the interesting hat okay i see gals wearing these on instagram often and i'm like but i'm not sure it's gonna look good on me i don't know what you even call this i think they're called a bucket hat correct me if i'm wrong is that a bucket hat i know that kangal do like really cool ones on ASOS. This obviously isn't a Kangol one, it's a Primark one. And it was five pounds, quite steep for a Primark hat. If it doesn't suit me, it will be returned. <laughs> and I haven't tried it on yet, but... Okay, should we try it? Don't laugh, guys, if... If I don't look like one of those Insta models, just give me a break. I mean, it's a bit, I, I'm not really sure what's supposed to be going on with the rim. Can you hear, like, it's a bit, like, it's full of, like, plastic or something. But I feel like I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with the rim. Hmm. I'm just not sure if it was snowing outside, if this is the hat that I would grab from my wardrobe, you know, over something like this. I don't look like a Kangol model. And I'm really not sure what that's supposed to be doing <laughs> not that jury's out jury's out on the bucket hat what do you guys think i don't look like i don't look like jesse nelson when she wears one okay should we move swiftly on <laughs> On to my last item, which is a beautiful smock. So I live in smock dresses pretty much all year round. They are very versatile. In the winter, obviously, you just whack on a pair of tights and a pair of biker boots. Job done. Oh, they had the most incredible white biker boots in Primark, which I saw and I was like, oh, I ran over there to go and get them. Um, and they just didn't have my size. They had all like size eight. And I even contemplated, I was like, maybe if I stuff a sock in the end of it, it'll fit, and then I was like, you're crazy. Uh, so no, I didn't get boots, but I got this little beauty. So here it is, a really nice color. What would you call this? They called it terracotta, and it was 10 pounds. They had it in green as well, but I have quite a similar green smock already, so I left the green and I went for terracotta. I got it in a size 10, because I like them to be like quite big and flowy. So I'll put this on. Here it is. So it is pretty much what you'd expect with a smock. It sort of cuts in about here and then just drops down. I'll show you. There you go. Obviously, I've teamed it with a pair of tights. Couldn't team it with the dream boots because I'm not size eight, but and there you go. It's just so easy to wear. Throw on, you can throw it on with a coat or any sort of jacket, pair of boots. There's your outfit, done. For 10 pounds, I think that's pretty good. The green, it's like a six. It was like a sage green and that was really lovely too. It's a really sort of um, stretchy fabric that you can't really tell. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to show you the bits that I got for Leo. If you don't know, if you're not a subscriber, one, subscribe. And two, I have a two and a half year old son um, and I got some bits for him. He was really low on jumpers, so I needed to stock up on the old jumper scene. Um, if you don't care what I got for my two and a half year old son, then feel free to end the video now. Subscribe, thumbs up, see you on my next one. 
But if you do want to know what I got for Leo, keep watching and I'm just going to run you through the little bits I got for him. Okay, so first is this incredible bobble hat. I cannot wait to get this on his head. How cute is this? I just love the colors, love the little bobble at the top, and that was three pounds. It's just a standard one size hat, but that will fit him, that will fit him fine. Three pounds, barg. Reminds me of like a sort of, I don't know, it's a bit retro, like with the colors and the stripes and stuff. Actually, loads of the stuff I got him, when I showed it to Clint, he was like, oh, it's got quite like a retro theme going on which I agreed with. For example, this one here reminded me of something that like I would have worn back in the 90s with a pair of um, oh, poppers. Do you remember the poppers? Those awful nylon trousers that had poppers all the way down the side. They were just incredible, weren't they? This definitely would have gone with them. So I just really liked it because I thought it was really retro. They only had this in a size two to three, um, which I thought looked a little small, which is unusual for me to say about Leo because he's actually tiny and Primark sometimes loses its size a little bit in the wash but I'm hoping it'll be fine I'll just keep it on a low temperature which I tend to do anyway that one was six pounds also got this beauty for six pounds I love him in yellow I don't know why I just think he looks so lovely in yellow and that's really good detail like that's all individually sewn on so that's really gonna last that was six pounds as well. A little hoodie um, in camo. It says future on it. Because kids are the future. What's that song? Yeah, I didn't sing it right, but <laughs> I was trying to be funny. Did I say how much that was? Did I say? It was four pounds. This was obviously his choice. Lovely. Delightful. I wasn't going to leave without buying this. That was nine pounds, so a bit more pricey, but I guess you're paying for the um, the pleasure of having these lovely guys on your jumper. He can't wait to wear this one. He wanted to wear it today to nursery. I was like, mm, it's not really a nursery jumper. I'm making wear old, horrible stuff to nursery. A zip hoodie, because Primark are fantastic for zip hoodies. I never go there without grabbing one for Leo. Eight pounds, and that's got some nice sort of details on there. They're really easy to wear. And one more, again, with the retro sort of neon coloring. Love that. And that was five pounds. So there you go. I got some bits for me, and I got some bits for him. Couple of bits are going to be returned. Still just so unsure about this, so unsure. But 90% really, really chuffed with. Leo's happy with all of his bits too, so that's good. There is nothing I like filming more than a fashion vid. In fact, after I film this one, I'm going straight into filming a huge winter sort of online fashion haul. So I've got Misguided, I Saw It First, Missy Empire, all the big names in there. So I'm gonna film that right now. I'll be absolutely knackered afterwards. So much talking, but I love doing it. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe before you go to see similar videos. I also do like a lot of just day in the life, normal mum life vlogs, cleaning, that sort of thing. And I will see you guys in my next video.